Hey, folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And there's Glenn. And today we're here to talk to you about the screaming trees and take a look and have a reaction, really, to the video to Bed of Roses. But the screaming trees got their start in Seattle in the early 80s, actually, uh, early mid 80s, when Mark and Van Connor and Gary Lee Connor got together and uh, Mark Pickerel, also their drummer, and got signed to SST after putting out a self-released album, actually an EP and an album. And this is the compilation of the three albums they made and a few other EPs as well with SST. This is the stuff that I've always really liked. It's all Gary Lee Connor compositions. Gary Lee really enjoys psychedelic music. During their performances, he turned into an animal on stage. So that happened, and then they got signed to Epic in 1990, and this came out. Mark Pickerel left the band immediately afterwards, said, I can't do this anymore. So this is kind of the very end of the original Screaming Trees lineup. They, um, they have kind of a, a hard rock, psychedelic garage. They're more of a garage sounding band. Uh, I didn't know anything about the Screaming Trees a, a few minutes ago. So. <laughs> That's good. That's good. We're going to school yeah, here. I, I knew about, I've heard Mark Lanigan's name before because mm -hmm. of uh, the Mad Season episode we did. Yeah, he's quite an artist, I'm finding. Uh, I, I really should have known more about these guys. By the way, uh, he was, or, or they, were good fans with Nirvana. This is back mm -hmm. long before either one got signed. Okay, so they played at the Chicago Metro in 1989. And they did a song that was on their first LP for SST called Transfiguration. Something they must be from the beginning to 
All right. So thoughts? <laughs> yeah, I like the sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the sound of this song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were a little bit more raw during the SST years. That's why for a little while. Yeah, that, I can understand how they might have gotten on SST. <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, I know that uh, Greg Jinn reached out to them because uh, I think the the drummer, Mark Pickerel, ended up at a gig for one of the SST bands and loved them and just happened to give them the cassette of the band. <laughs> and he calls up Lanigan and Lanigan's like, wait, is this a joke? Who? Because you know, he already liked Jen and Black Flag and all that. Mark Lanigan passed away in 2022, I should mention. He was 57 years old. It's unfortunate. He had moved to Ireland kind of to retire at that uh, two years previous to that. Uh, so at least he was where he wanted to be. You know, uh, I should mention, too, that uh, the bass player, Van Connor, uh, passed away this year, earlier this year. Hmm. Um, but Gary Lee Connor is still around and he's still doing interviews. He's the guitar player. So he's, you know, doing the windmills up there. Gary Lee Connor, by the way, was the guy that wrote that song. This is back when he was doing most of the most of the songwriting. And then Lanigan might add lyrics, you know, or it would help with the lyrics. Sometimes the lyrics were set and other times uh, Mark would help out. So that was the songwriting for the whole SST experience. And uh, I do like that stuff a lot. It's virtually impossible to get their records. This is really the only thing that's still in print. Um, everything else, forget it, man. Now it's a double album. And so it's got about half of their output anyway. So I'm, I'm not totally displeased or anything, um, but yeah, I was, uh, and the album dust, I always liked. Oh, okay. And, uh, I remember you, you, uh, commenting that you liked it. Maybe we'll check one of those songs out sometime. Sure. So yeah. What'd you think of his guitar playing and all? You know? oh, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, to be honest, I couldn't think of much that was distinct about the band except for the, well, you were right about the vocals being sort of, having sort of a Jim Morrison type vibe. I could see how, mm -hmm. how you would say that. And, uh, not distinct, but I like them. They're good. <laughs> I suspect that uh, there's something about them that makes it a little tougher to take them in on the first listen. Yeah, I, I think it's good. I, I didn't notice much that was different about them, but they're good. Yeah, yeah that's, okay. that's what's important. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I went and I got all of the stuff that is easily available, which is their major label CDs. All of the covers are pretty strange to my eyes. I don't really know what's going on here. But that's Uncle Anesthesia. It's got four arms. Yeah. <laughs> and I appreciate it. <laughs> Sweet Oblivion. This was the biggest album they ever had. This has a song on it called Nearly Lost You, which was on a um, in a movie called Singles. It was on that soundtrack, which was, it's a big Seattle soundtrack from the 90s. And then they put out Dust. Again, kind of a wacky cover there. Hmm. Um, uh, yeah. This is a great album. But by, by this time, Mark Lanigan is doing a lot more of the writing. So it's a slightly different sounding, but it's still great. I'm finding that I like a lot of Mark Lanigan's solo output, which uh, hmm. extended from 1990 with The Winding Sheet up to 2020 with Straight Songs of Sorrow. An excellent album. I actually got that CD mm. recently, too. The fact that I'd never heard about them, it's great to find another band from that era that I like, you know, to kind of add with the others, you know. So, because I like a lot, well, we, we love a lot of those SST bands. You yeah. Know, Husker Du, Minutemen, Descendants. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I would include Screaming Trees. I like them. Yeah. I Good. have to say that. Good. Okay. All right. So, uh, if any of you out there are Screaming Trees or Mark Lanigan fans, uh, please let us know about your experiences. Folks, if you liked this video, please give us a like. And if you like our presentation, please subscribe. And we'll just keep doing it every week or every few days, whenever we can do it. I'd love to do it every day, Sunday. We'll see. I don't know. But in the meantime, uh, thanks for checking this out with us. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care, folks. See you all later.